you don't have a home church, come join us. Amen. It's worth the walk. It's worth the drive. Amen. Praise yes. God. Thank you, Lord. Where we honor God, we love families, we serve others, and we pursue His excellence. Amen. Yeah. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia de Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. Uh -huh. All we ask you to do, and all He asks you to do, is to be ready to receive. He's Amen. got something for you. Amen. Don't let it go. As a matter of fact, not only are we celebrating uh, Palm Sunday, so happy Palm Sunday. We're celebrating our fellowship. This is Fellowship Sunday, and so we get to eat some food. So it's going to be court, uh, short and easy. <laughs> Amen. But I prepare myself for that food. It's waiting on me. Amen. We got to prepare ourselves for whatever the Word of God is for us. Amen. And we got to be obedient to what it says. Not only... It, it's, it's just not for someone it's for you amen and just say it like that you know it's the lord that's for me and i want to apply it to my life amen? amen so let's remember this amen so praise god so we want to welcome you god's not finished with you he wants to bless you encourage you change you he wants to correct you amen, amen. so let's remember this and today we're going to be talking about shine shine for jesus or shining for jesus each and every day, not just once in a while, not when things are just going on top oh, of the hill, yeah, you know, but when you're down low too, you know, mm -hmm. we just gotta shine for Him all the time. Amen, people are watching. If you don't know that by now, you know, Good. people are watching. Oh, Especially yeah. if you call yourself a believer. Oh, my <laughs> you're, a, you're a Christian, you mean you're one of them? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, before I get too carried away, let's uh, make this declaration together. Grab your sword, soldier of God, amen. And let's say it like we mean it, amen. amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You know, you can say that each and every day. I'll never be the same. Yesterday's gone. Amen. This is a new day. Praise yeah. God, you know, and, and thank God the Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. So, you know, you might have some things hanging around. You might have some things coming against you, but still, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And he tells us, rejoice and be glad. Amen. Why are you still carrying that problem? You know, you know you're watching, you know you're, you're listening. You're carrying these things. He says, cast them on, on him. Give them to me. You know, he went to the cross carrying all these things for us. And he was humiliated for us. <laughs> Amen. Because he loved us so much. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He sacrificed his only son for us. Mm -hmm. And we're going around carrying all this mess. You know, we got to let it go. He said, give it to me. You know why? Because I've got a mission for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want you to be my little light. And I want you to go inside in this dark world. Yeah. And this is a dark world if you don't know. <laughs> All you need to do is just step out in, out of your house and you'll see. And you don't even have to step out. Turn the TV on and yeah. you'll see all kind of mess going on. Oh, this goodness. is darkness. Amen. Yes. And we're just going to get worse before it gets better. That's it. Where was I? <laughs> God's not finished with you. Mm. He's got great plans for you. Yes. None of them include defeat. That's it. Amen. So ah. let's, let's, let's remember this. Let's remember this. He, he he wants to use you. We need to make ourselves available to him, you know. But he wants to use you. Hallelujah. He ain't finished with you. Ooh, I'm excited. Before we get into our message of God uh, shining for Jesus, let me read you this uh, little uh, scripture break I have for you. Amen. I tell you all the time, we take breaks. Welcome. We take breaks all the time. And... Uh, we take smoke breaks, we take uh, drinking breaks, we take uh, coffee breaks, we take all kinds of breaks. Uh -huh. Why don't you take a scripture break? Where are you going? Oh, I want to get another cup of coffee. Where are you going? Well, oh, it's lunchtime. Oh, Where are you going? Hey, I'm going to go open my Bible because I'm going to read me a scripture. Amen. Have a scripture break. Listen to this. The word is my light. Live in the word of God and you will never have to be in darkness again. Are you listening to me? It says, build your faith in the word and renew your mind with the word on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. You know what? You, you go up into this world and it's going to take you down. You got to prepare yourself and be ready 
be with him you know whereas as you step out you know otherwise if you don't renew your mind this world is going to have you that's it but you got to renew your mind as often as needed yes so that you can live out there amen who says commit to walk in his word i let the word of god be my counsel i let the word of god be my shield my buckler my weapon in battle you're gonna have a battle and the battle is on whether you win or lose is up to you he's already won it for us but you got to take the word and use the word and be that child of god he wants you to be be that light he wants you to be amen Woo, hallelujah because there's going to be a battle going on and you know what the enemies that defeated foe, but you gotta remind them. Say, wait a minute, you can't put me on the run anymore. Because I know whose I am, and I know who I am in Christ. And you ain't gonna fall, you ain't gonna chase me anymore. I'm gonna stop running. I'm making an about face and I'm gonna press on. And I'm gonna tell you where you can go. You can go to hell. <laughs> hey, that's where he belongs. He says, You better go home. Amen. Say, wait a minute, the buck stops here. Say you're going to put the devil to run. Amen. Don't let him keep you on the run anymore. But there's going to be a battle going on. As a matter of fact, the Bible says you only have one enemy. And that's the devil. He comes to do what? Steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. He wants to keep that little light of yours down under a bushel. He wants to keep that little light out all the time. You know, we only turn it on when we want to impress the world. Woo. Come on now. I'm preaching better than you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> says, I let it be a light or a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path i will never stumble or fall for my steps are ordered by the lord mm -hmm. amen if my steps are ordered by the lord you know what nothing's going to stop me except yeah. yourself you know why because you're going to open up and you're going to listen to what the enemy has to say and he's going to say you're not good enough the world's going to say you, you you're not qualified the world's going to put you down Anybody and everybody's going to put you down, but you're going to say, wait a minute, I'm a child of God. I can do all things through Christ. Nothing's going to hold me down. Amen. Put those things behind you and press on. Just come on and press on with him. Renew your mind with the word of God when things are coming against you and press on with Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Remind him he's a defeated foe. Who defeated him? Jesus did. Amen. But he still keeps coming and we got to be bold enough. We got to be bold enough. We got to be bold enough. <laughs> we got to be bold enough to say, wait a minute. I'm a child of God. And you're a devil and you're a defeated foe. And I'm putting you behind me. Command you to get behind me and get under my feet. Amen. Whatever, whichever one is better for you. Mm -hmm. So my steps are ordered up by the word of God. Amen. Amen. And the word mm -hmm. is a solid foundation for me yes, you know what we need to do we need to get in the word and let the word consume us yes amen and what the word consume us you know it's going to build our faith yes. and when we step out we're going to step out in faith and not in defeat amen because if you're not if you're not stepping out it's because you're in fear and god has not given us a spirit of fear but a power and of love and of a sound mind amen Amen. We got to remember this. I'm, if I'm going to step out in faith, that means I'm going to be in the Word. I'm going to be letting that Word consume me. And I'm going to fill in with the Word, the overflowing. He says, because out of my innermost beings are going to flow rivers of living water. Amen. The Word is going to flow out of you. Don't say, well, you know, I can't never learn that. Mm, That's yes, not what yes. Jesus says. He says, you can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens you. Yes. So quit talking against yourself. Yes. Quit putting yourself down. Amen. You got to be up and up. Amen. Yeah. Woo. Man, that was good. One of our scriptures here is Psalms 119. You know what? Let's open our Bibles. That's what we're here for. Oh, yes. What do we use? We use the word of God. Amen. Mm. But Psalms 119, 105. Man, this is good. I'm blessed already. Uh -huh. Psalms 119, 105 says what? I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified, but it says the same thing. It says the same thing as the King James, but it says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. He knows your path, and he knows where you're going. Amen? Mm -hmm. He wakes you up every day. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. You know where I'm going, Lord? I'm the first I'm going to go. I'm going to give you thanks for waking me up. 
Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to go out into this world and do what I need to do. Yes. Amen. I've got a job or whatever it is that you do, whatever it is God wants you to do. And I'm going to step out. I'm going to step out in faith, not in fear. Yes. He's not giving me a spirit of fear. That's it. Amen. But I'm going to spend time with him, build myself up to overflowing. <laughs> you know, you drink a pot of coffee and you're ready to go. Well, you're going to drink a scripture at a time, you know, and be ready to go. Get full of God, and you're ready to step out. Amen. Don't be shy. Don't put it down. <laughs> step out. Amen. Uh, another one is Psalms. Go to Psalms uh, 37. Uh, let me see. Uh, hopefully, I marked them right. Psalms 37 and 23. 37 23. Are you there? I'm going to read it to you from King James and I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified. Mm-hmm. But it says, the steps of a good man. We're talking about man, woman here, okay? A man or a woman. Basically, you're a child of God. Yes. Amen. It says, the steps of a good man mm-hmm. are ordered by me. Yes, yes. No? What does no. it say? The steps of a good man are ordered by God. Amen. Mm-hmm. They're ordered by the Lord yes. and he delights in his way. All right. I just want you to know your steps are ordered of God and if you ain't stepping his way mm. it means he's not the problem <laughs> the problem is here we got to fix this yes. and then we got to fix this and we got to get this right to be obedient to what the word of God wants you to do and he wants you to do something he don't just want you to sit and do nothing and be lazy like the world amen he wants you to be something for him amen he's called you to be something whatever that is big or small uh-huh. If you're doing it under him, he's pleased. Amen. Amen. If you just want to be lazy, uh-huh. well, that's something else. Yeah. You just got to get off your como se llama and uh, get busy for God. Amen. Yeah. And uh, where am I? Okay. Uh, Amplified says, verse 20, uh, 30, 23, says the steps of a good man are directed and established by the Lord. When, it says, when he delights in his ways and he uh, excuse me. When he delights in his way and he busies him himself with his every step, he is there for you each and every step. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. He is there. We take sides from him. We t- we step aside from him. But he says I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I am always with you. Amen. So, you know, if you're feeling lonely, it's not because he's not there. It's because you're not having a relationship. You know what he wants to have? He wants to have a relationship. But in order for you to have a relationship, you got to be able to talk. Amen. You got to be able to fellowship with him and talk with him. And he's right there for you. Amen. So if you're feeling lonely, it's not because he's not talking. It's because I'm not saying anything. Amen. So we got to get out of the flesh and get in the spirit and get in the word. Woo! Hallelujah. You still up faster, huh? <laughs> Woo, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Okay, shine for Jesus. I think we have some good uh some good uh, slides for you. Shine for Jesus. Keep going. Jesus is what? The light of the world. Well, I mean, we got some great songs. Thank you, praise team. You know, we sing these songs, but you know, we just don't sing them. Just uh, uh, we sing them to edify Him, to worship Him, praise Him, you know, and to build ourselves up. Amen. These are great songs. I mean, all you do, all you're doing is reading the scripture, singing the scripture back to Him. But Jesus is the light of this world. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. This is good. Shine, Jesus, shine. Hallelujah. Keep going. This is good. So let's go light your world for Jesus. You know what? Your world is, let's just say, your work, your uh, world of work, your world of shop, or wherever you happen to be, may be different than mine. But still, wherever world you go to, wherever you happen to go, show, let Jesus shine. Amen. Let him shine. Because people are seeing, people are watching. Don't you... <laughs> You know this because we used to be there. Well, I used to be there. I know you're perfect. 
and you see things and you and you talk about you see that person you see that guy you see that girl man look what they wear look at this look at that you know and we're watching and look what you did you hear what they said uh, we're being for real you know people are watching especially you know hey did you know what i heard that he's a christian i'm gonna watch him as soon as he trips man i'm gonna be right there and just let him know i think i'm to Let's not go there. Amen. That to go light your world for Jesus. Wherever that world happens to be, wherever you work, wherever you uh, shop, wherever you go. Amen. Just let let it shine for Jesus. Keep going. Woo! Go light your world. Wherever world that is for you. It says, shine for Jesus. The little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Amen. You have to let it shine. If it's stopping you, if, if you don't want to do it, you've got something to do. you got to get in the Word and get, get yourself right with God. Otherwise, it's going to stay out. He says, don't push it under the way. We're going to read some scripture in a few minutes here. He says, Christians are God's instruments to bring light into this world. Yes. He's using us. Jesus came, gave his life. You know, when God sent Jesus, Jesus gave his life, and he's gone. He says, you know what? What I did, you could do. He says, I'm going to the Father. And he's got a place for me. He said, he said that the right hand of God sent me a place of authority. Yes. And he says, I'm interceding for you. And I can count on you. He's yes. counting on you. Amen. So don't put him down. Don't let him down, you know. He's there for you. Woo. Hallelujah. It says, he is a lamp and a light available daily to protect the God our way. Yes. He is a lamp and a light available to us each and every day. It says, but only if we are willing to let him mm -hmm. shine in our lives by shining through our lives. He's going to shine through you if you let him. Amen. Yeah. So we, we need to open up. Uh, open your Bibles. We're going to be reading scriptures to you. We got them on. Keep going, Carmen. There you go. I like this one. This is a lot of mine. What am I going to do? I'm going to let it shine. It's nice. I like that. We we sang. We used to sing this a lot in in children's church. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we sing it in big church too. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, right there. Anyway, John, open your Bibles, chapter uh, John, chapter eight, verses twelve. We're going to read that. It says again, uh, Jesus spoke to them, said, "I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have." The light of life. Amen. That's what this uh, New King James says. John 8, chapter 8, verse 12. New King James says, Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Amen. Amen. You don't have to walk in darkness anymore. You be careful what you listen to. Yes, you be yes. careful what you hear. Yes. I mean, this is things you always got to protect. Because the enemy is going to use people. Mm -hmm. God uses people. Mm -hmm. Believers. The enemy is going to use people also. Yeah. And they're going to say things to try to put you down. To try to hurt you. So you got to be able to say, wait a minute. That's not what the word of God says. I'm not receiving that because that's not for me. You got to be bold enough to know mm -hmm. this is not for me. They're not talking about me. Mm -hmm. I am a child of God and I am light to this world because that's what the word of God says amen mm -hmm. so Jesus is the light of the world those who follow him will have his path illuminated and thus all who follow Jesus will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life yes. that allows those who follow Jesus to see the path that are, are they are taking and they'll never stray from the path of righteousness yeah, yeah. if they are following Christ. Yeah, yeah. But the further away from Christ they go, the darker the path becomes. Yeah, and darker yeah. is more dangerous than when you try and see yeah, where yeah. you're going. Uh -huh. Amen. So you have a lot to do with it. Yeah. Amen. You have a lot to do with it. It says, if, if they are following Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. We need to be bold enough to be following Him. That's because it. if not, you know, hey, I know where I'm driving to. Well, that's why. But spiritual wise, remember, we fight a spiritual battle. You can't fight a spiritual battle 
with your with your mind. That's it. You got to fight it with the word of God. Amen. <laughs> we don't fight people. We fight enemies. We fight spirit beings in high places. Mm. Amen. And you can't do it on your own. You got to do it with the word of God. Amen. And the enemy is going to try to distract you and put things in your path. And and if you're not focused on what God is telling you, you're going to just fall. And if you're not renewing your mind with the Word of God, you're going to end up somewhere else. Yeah. And where and that's not what God wants me. Amen. I don't want to be there, and you don't want to be there. But man, I got to stay focused. I got to stay focused on Him. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. It says, okay, keep, keep going, Carl. So you got that one already, eh? This is this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Matthew 5, chapter 5, verse 16 says, Let your light shine before men in such a way they will see your good works yes. and glorify your Father, Father who is in heaven. Yeah. Amen. If I'm his child, He's my heavenly father. Mm -hmm. See yourself that way. Mm -hmm. Don't see yourself just a sinner. If you're born again, you may still sin, but you can ask repentance yes. and, re and ask forgiveness, and yes. he'll forgive you. Amen. But don't just go around. You're a child of God. You're born again, and you're still going around huh. calling yourself a sinner. Yes, yes. Bible says you're now the old is gone, the new is in, and you're a child of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm a child of God. I may still sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I can ask forgiveness and yes. you'll forgive me. Amen. Amen. All right. Keep going. One more. Right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read it to you in two different uh, verses, two different uh, translations here. First one is the Amplified says, you are, light of, you are the light of Christ to the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone's light or, or light a lamp and put it under a basket, yes. but on a lampstand, mm -hmm. and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they will see your good deeds and moral yes. excellence. And recognize and honor and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Amen. Amen. How many of you have lamps at home? Yeah. <laughs> Do you put them under the basket? Do you no. put them on the floor? No. no. You put them on the stand. So Amen. And it, and it shines out. You know, they used to, well, they used to way back. They still do, but they have uh, lighthouses. And they used to light them. And they would guide boats in. They would see the light long ways in the dark. You know, you could see light. And they would guide boats in. We are his lights. Amen. Mm -hmm. We are his lights. And we can shine somebody to Christ. Lead somebody yes, lead to somebody Christ. Christ. Amen. Right. So that they won't be lost anymore. And he can use each and every one of us. You know, well, yeah. you know, brother so and so, brother holy over there, he can do it all the time. <laughs> or sister holy over there. Mm -hmm. No, he wants to use you. Yes. He didn't put you here to be a loser. That's he it. didn't put you here just to Come on now. sit. You know, he put you here because he wants you busy for him. Yes. Amen. Because he says you can do all things through all me. Things. He says you can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. So when are you going to catch this? When are you going to get busy for me? Come on you know, I have to go and stand before him one day. One day you'll stand before him and give an account. Why you never used the gifts? Why you never were available for me? Every time I knocked, you never answered. I wanted to use you, but you never made yourself mm -hmm. available. On, we got to make ourselves available. It's not about what I know. It's about what he knows about me. Right. And he wants to use me. He used a jackass before. Right. <laughs> I know he can use me. Amen. All right. He knows me. He knows all your faults. He knows all the worst about you. Yes. And he loves you the most. That's and he it. sacrificed his son for you. Mm -hmm. And now he wants you to, in return, come to him and be and be for him be his yes. light in this dark world but i'm not you know this world's got you so bound you know uh, that, that 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 you can do anything for him he's trying to talk to you but you're so busy yeah with the world Come on now. that you're not listening to what he's telling you all he's telling you is doing is say you know what you see that little child over there just go let him know god loves him 
You see that old man over there? Go over there and help him whatever he needs to do. Or go get him something. Yes. Amen. Kindness yes. is the simplest thing, you know, but yes. it makes a big difference. Yes, it does. And you know what? When people see stuff like that, they say, you know, Jesus is shining through them. Man, they're being a light for Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody asks you, why are you doing this? Because I'm a light for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. They ask me, so I'm telling them. <laughs> Hallelujah. The easy yeah. to read version says this. It says, you are lights. You are the light that shines for the world to see. You are a little city on a hill that cannot be hidden. People don't hide a lamp under a bowl. They put it on a lampstand. Mm -hmm. Then the light shines for everyone in their house. In the same way, you should be a light for other people. Mm -hmm. Live so that they will see the good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. Yes. They'll see the good things. And you know what? They'll come and say, Brother, thank you for doing those things. Mm -hmm. you're, you're welcome. You know, I love God so much. I just want to do for Him. Mm -hmm. And I want to do for His people. No. And you know, <laughs> them people that love it, that hate you the most, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're going to say some things. And you're going to know how to be strong in Him mm -hmm. and not say and do and act like them. Two wrongs don't make it right. Yeah, yeah. Amen. You're just going to love them. Have that love and compassion. Put your Jesus glasses on. <laughs> and know how to answer them. And say the right thing. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Uh, don't be like somebody else I know. You know what? No, I just want to lay hands on them. And then you can heal them. <laughs> you want to lay hands on them. Lord, if I lay them out, you know, you can heal them. No. Raise up in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. <laughs> After you put your hand around their neck, you know, <laughs> and squeeze their neck a little bit, you know, eyeballs pop out. Keep going. <laughs> Praise God. Be nice. Oh, I'm being nice. <laughs> Luke 11, 33 through 36. The uh, NIT talks about the New English. English translation. That's what N I N E T means. New English translation it says, "No one lighting a lamp puts it in a hidden place or under a basket, but on a lampstand, so that those who come in can see the light." Yeah. Your eye is a lamp of your body. Yeah. When your light is healthy, your whole body is full of light. Yeah. And when it is uh, diseased. <laughs> Your, your body is full of darkness. Mm -hmm. Amen. You close your eyes and, and there's nothing but darkness. Mm -hmm. Therefore, see it. See to it that the light is in uh, you. It's, right. it, it's not darkness. Amen. The light in you is not darkness. Yes. If then your whole body is full of light, no part of darkness, uh, it will be uh, full, uh, full of light as when the light of the lamp shines through you. So you want to be that light for him. Amen. You don't take that basket again, and I uh, mean that uh, lamp, and put it up, uh, under under the uh, stand. You put it on top of a lamp, lamp stand. Amen. You put it up on high. So you're going to be standing for Jesus. And they're going to see you're a light for Jesus. Amen. I don't, wanna, I, don't, I don't want to hide it. He didn't hide it. He didn't hide himself. He made himself available yeah. to the Father. Yeah. And you know what? When he couldn't go anymore, and when he needed strength, he went to the Father. Mm -hmm. So what about us? When we need him, Lord, I, I don't think I can do this. Well, mm -hmm. that's not what he said. He says you can do all things yeah, through me. All things. Who strengthens you. Lord, I need your strength today. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we, we, we learn to complain and talk the negative things. Remember, we're getting to it. As a matter of fact, I'm right on there. But Proverbs 18.21 says death and life are in the power of the tongue so positive and negative is in the words you speak so instead of speaking out the negative speak the positive yeah. i can do all things I through can. christ yeah. amen confess what the word says not what you want to say not what the world says you know the world says lots of things you know and they use all kind of media they use all kind of there's people everywhere there's writings everywhere and you see it, and man, you get to confess these things mm -hmm. and say these things and mm -hmm. totally against what the Word of God says. Yeah, yeah. 
But we can do that, you know. Hey, it's the world, you know. Everything's cool, you know. Mm -hmm. And we say it, but you know what? You're sowing negative things. Yes. And you're sowing the wrong things. Yes. And it's coming against you. Yes. Amen. You're sowing the wrong things in, in your life. It says, shine for Jesus. Go light your world, wherever that world happens to be. Wherever you happen to work, wherever you happen to shop, wherever you, wherever you go. This little light of mine says, I'm going to let it shine. It's a beautiful song. We sang it earlier. But we, we got to sing it out. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you know what? It's going to affect somebody. Mm -hmm. It's going to hurt somebody. And they're going to say things. You just got to be ready yeah. when you hear those things and oh, say, yeah. you know what? I'm not receiving that. You got to be able to say, I don't receive it. Now, I don't react like I used to. Mm -hmm. I used to re react in a worldly way. I don't react that way anymore. Okay. You got to let the love and compassion of Christ. Amen. You got to let it in, and it, and it, and, it, and you got to let the love and compassion deal with it, and then act on it. Amen. And act the right way, not the negative way. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Let it shine. Put it under a basket. No. no. I'm gonna let it shine. Mm -hmm. It says I'm gonna let Satan blow it out. No. 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 I ain't going to let nobody blow it out. You got to keep that little flame going. Yes. Amen. You got to yeah. keep that flame going. As a matter of fact, you know, in the wintertime, when you're using a fireplace, you got lots of wood. Mm. And you keep that place hot. Amen. You got to keep it hot. We got to keep ourselves hot for Jesus. Yes. Don't let your lamp go out. Don't let your fire go out. Keep that fire going for him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Only you can do this. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to do it for you. You know, people are going to be jealous. And people are going to say, man, you need to take a break from that stuff. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I know somebody's told you this before. And, and, you know, you need to take a break from that. Then people get too carried away, you know. <laughs> well, Jesus got carried away. He yes, went to the cross and allowed himself to be killed, to be sacrificed. Yes. We need to be. <clears throat> he's a great example. We just got to be that? just like him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Don't be sold to the world. Be sold to Jesus. Amen. And get in the word and let the word consume you. Yes. So that you can build your faith roots. So when the storms of life come, you're not shaken. You say, man, I'm just going to keep on pressing. Mm. Amen. The word of God says this and we're going to go. Jesus told his disciples, we're going to the other side. Mm -hmm. And right in the middle of when they're going or, or there, you know, we talked about a week or two weeks ago. Right in the middle of, of, of the light. <laughs> Here comes a storm, mm -hmm. and the ship's boat, uh, ship, the, 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 the boat is uh, sinking. Yes, yes. And they've already forgot. They've got their eyes on the world instead yeah. of what Jesus says. Jesus yes. says, we're going to the other side. So I'm thinking, if he says we're going to the other side, we're going because the word of God never lies. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're going to get there. I don't care what kind of storms come. Mm -hmm. We're just going to take authority and rebuke that and that's what jesus yeah. did he woke him up don't you care we're gonna die mm. he wakes up and he rebukes that and everything comes down and peaceful you can do this to your life amen but then he turned around and he asked him what, what happened to your faith where's your faith mm -hmm. you could have done this yourself amen but you're putting it off don't put it off Ooh. don't let nobody blow it out they want to, but don't let them. And the enemy's going to send the right people. Oh, yeah. Okay, all they're going to the send the right people, all mm -hmm. kinds of people, to try to blow your mm -hmm. light out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it or not, we're on display. Yes. <laughs> and we like it, you know? We like the attention. Mm -hmm. That's your flesh part. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it wants to show off. You know, hey, I remember getting dressed and going out to the parties and all these other places, you know. Man, you know, you want to be looking good. Yeah, the enemy knows that too. Amen, and he's going to use any, any, anything and everything to trip you up. Amen. People look at us and expect us to act a certain way, talk a certain way, and they're watching. Mm -hmm. They're watching how we act. Amen. They're they're watching. They won't say anything till you trip. You wait till you trip when people come up to you and say, I thought you was a Christian. I thought you was a believer. Mm -hmm. What what happened? Just like a job 
interview. You're on display. All right now. Amen. You're on display. Woo! Maybe it's. Did you know he's pastor? Mm. <laughs> you see what he's doing? You see what he's saying? You see what he's wearing? You see where he's hanging out? Mm -mm. Come on now. <laughs> You're a minister of reconciliation. That's what the Bible says. Mm. You're a minister of reconciliation. That means you're bringing the truth to the world. You're bringing the yeah. light to the world. And you're a minister of reconciliation. And people are watching. Amen. But they they want to know. People don't care what you know. They just want to know if you care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much you care. <laughs> Watch your words. Guard your mouth. Oh my. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. What is, yeah. What's in your mouth? Your tongue. <laughs> what do you use your tongue for? To speak words. Yes. What kind of words are you gonna say? Mm -hmm. You know, I guarantee you, you slam your hand on on the, on something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something's coming out of you. Where's it gonna be? Oh, excuse mm -hmm. me. <laughs> Said the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we gotta be careful. Guard your mouth. Put a zipper. You know, right, zip yeah. it. And say the right things. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. Proverbs eighteen twenty one says, "Death and life are the power of the tongue." <laughs> or you could say, "Life and death." Are in the power of the tongue. Are you giving yourself life? Or are you giving yourself death? You're eating the fruit of it. Mm -hmm. You're eating the fruit because you're speaking it out. And it's going and you're sowing it mm -hmm. into your life. Yeah. So you have to be careful. It says watch your actions. Imitate him. I've got to open the word in this way. Because I like reading this to you. Ephesians chapter 5. Verses one and two mm -hmm. in the uh, in the uh, amplified King James. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter five verses one and two says, "Therefore, be imitators of the world." No, it's not what it says. It says, "Therefore, be imitators of God. Copy Him and follow His example." Amen. You know what to do. As well be other children imitate their fathers. Amen. The uh, King James says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. And verse 2 says, And walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and hath given himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. Amen. But I like the kick and the amplified because the amplified says, therefore, be imitators of God. It's telling you what to do. Be imitators of God. Copy him. You know, what do we try to copy? We try to copy the world. Because, you know, you're a three-part three being. We've already talked about this, but I'll share it with you again. We're three-part being. What three-part being are we? We're a spirit. We have a soul. Which is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Mm -hmm. And we live in a body. physical body. Amen. So let's remember this. So he says to be imitators of him. Copy him and follow his examples as well beloved children. Imitate their father. <coughs> you know if you're not walking in the spirit. And feeding your spirit the word of God. Renewing your mind with the word of God. You're going to be walking in the flesh. And the flesh is going to want to do anything and everything it wants to do nothing can stop it except yourself and if you ain't stopping yourself enemy's going to have you amen the enemy's going to have you and verse 2 says and walk in love esteeming and delighting in one another as christ loved us and gave himself up for us a slain offering and sacrifice to god for you so that it became a sweet fragrance amen so man, sometimes it goes to the Amplified, Amplified just a little more. He wants us to imitate him and copy him. Otherwise, your flesh is gonna wanna copy the world. Your flesh is gonna wanna uh, copy all the uh, movie stars. Your flesh is gonna wanna copy all the athletes. Your flesh is gonna wanna copy all the in, uh, uh, singers out there, all the musicians out there, and then, you know, Lucifer was an archangel in heaven. Hmm. Amen. He was praise and worship leader. But he wanted to put himself over God. And God sent him out of there like lightning. 
He was gone. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know what he hates the most? He hates when you praise and worship your heavenly father. Because that's what he used to do. That's what he used to lead. And now he can't do that. That's it. Man, he was demoted in a heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> he was gone. He was out of there. He was out. Quick. Amen. <laughs> so let's copy the right things. Let's imitate the right things. Well, how do I know what to imitate? Well, get in the Word. Open the Word and read it. It'll tell you what to imitate. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're not going to finish this today, so uh, don't feel concerned. We got a fellowship to do. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on display you know you're on display when you go shopping <laughs> I say man I like to see this guy man he's got a nice suit on you know he got these little what do you call them uh, dummies <laughs> mannequins okay mannequins <laughs> and they got a nice outfit man I want to get me one of them they're on display you go anywhere any window you, you shop man they got displays and man they're just enticing you and this world is on display and it's got a lot of things it wants to show you and we're on display they need to see jesus through us amen praise god so watch your actions imitate him be strong in him when I, when i walk in a dark room what do you do if it's dark it's night it, it's a dark room you turn the light on yeah, you, 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 light you, light. you flip the switch i expect the light bulbs to come on Amen. I expect them to work. I get to see better when the light comes up. I, I get to see better when, the, when it lights up. Amen. I get to see better when it brightens, when it illuminates. Well, they see Jesus through you. They may not say anything because that's what they want to do. Amen. But when you flip that switch, that light comes on. And what happens if the bulb's out? You replace it. You put a new light. So that's what we need to do. Renew ourselves to Him each and every day. Yeah. Amen. And, and keep that light going for Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God expects the same from us. We are His light bearers. We are His light bearers. What's a light bearer? A light bearer is one that carries the light. Mm -hmm. One that transports the light. Mm -hmm. One that flashes or a hold, is a light holder. Mm -hmm. Or one that delivers the light. We are light bearers for Him. Amen. And people see this. And people know this. And you know what? You're living it. It's a lifestyle. You just don't do it once in a while. Amen. They see the lifestyle that you live. Mm -hmm. Say, you know what? They got it together. You know? Yeah. And they'll say, no, they got Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. You let Jesus shine. You know, the prodigal son fell. He says, man, I'm out of here. He told his dad, give me what's mine. And I'm gone. And he was down and out. Yeah. But then he says, you know what? I need to go back to Father's house. And I need to go back to Father's house. And I need to let my, my light shine for, for, for Dad. Amen. And he, he, he went back. You know what? It's, it's not bad to go back. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing to go back. Yeah. Yeah. The worst thing is to get caught away mm -hmm. and not come back. And not come back. That's it. Amen. Or you fall and you and, and, and you're gone. And you can't come back. And you can't come back. And that's that's the worst part. So God expects us to be his light bearers. His flashlights, his lighthouses. Yes. His light bearers. Yes. So go light your world for Jesus. Let Jesus shine for Jesus. Amen. Yes. Shine for Jesus. <laughs> light expels darkness. So light your world. Like the world that you're stepping down into. Amen. Amen. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful song that, that uh, well, I was listening to it this morning. But another song is We are for Jesus now more than ever. It says for we need, yes we need, we need Jesus now more than ever. Yeah. More than ever. We need him now. Need him. Amen. Say, hey, <laughs> you know things are bad. Things are so bad. But you know what? You got to keep pressing for him. Yeah. You got to stay strong in him. Yes, spend time with him. And build yourself up. Yeah. Because the enemy is out there. And the enemy is waiting. You build yourself before you go into the world. Because the world is going to take you down if you let him. 
you know this dark world wants to put your light out don't yeah. let it put it like put it out you stay charged up with him yeah. stay plugged in with him and be that light bearer he wants you to be amen did you get yeah. something yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo. Some of you are licking your lips because you smell that good food. <laughs> Hallelujah. Those of you watching, those of you listening, you know it's time for you to be that life for Jesus. Amen. Amen. I mean, the enemy, people, the world yeah. has got that basket over you. Mm. And then they're trying to hide your light. Don't let that light shine, uh, be dark anymore. You stand up and you be that lampstand and you shine for Jesus. Amen. So it's time. All you need to do is you say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you yes. know what? He's going to come in Amen. and he's going to be your Lord and Savior. Yes. But it's time for you to make a change. It's time for you to make a an amount of faith and press mm -hmm. on with him and be that light he wants you to be. Amen. Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you and get back into the word. Get back into a Bible based church where you can learn the word of God and you can go out and do for him because yeah. he didn't exclude you. He included you. So you got to see yourself that way. You're somebody special for him. So praise God. If you have sickness in your body, you know the enemy's going to try or this world. If put sickness on you, don't let that sickness take you down. Amen. Just speak to it and say, wait a minute. Jesus took the stripes on the cross for me and I'm going to stand and by Jesus' stripes I am healed. Whatever's affecting this body, whatever malfunctions this body's going through, I just come against it in the name of Jesus and I speak to that the function the way God created it to function yes. it could be anything in this body any organ any part of the body I speak to it in Jesus name and by Jesus stripes I will call you well yes. I call you healed in Jesus name amen so yes. praise God time to give just go to our website nbcbigben.com hit that donate button if you're mailing it NBC PO Box 252 Marfa Texas 79843 and for Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you. We love you. Have a blessed Palm Sunday. Have a blessed day. And be that lighthouse for Jesus. Be a light for Jesus. Amen. God bless you.